Who is Larry A? Larry A, alternatively known as Lee Reiko or Lore, is a powerful and distinguished figure in the pantheon of demons, often classified as a mighty Marquis of Hell. His reputation precedes him in the underworld, where he exercises his command over a legion of 30 spirits, each one a reflection of his notable attributes. Often depicted as a gallant archer, Larry Ye is portrayed donning a green tunic while adeptly wielding a bow and arrows. His expertise in archery is indicative of the qualities he can bestow upon his followers, precision, focus, and the courage to strike when the time is right. Larry Ye is renowned for his ability to incite great battles and conflicts. He thrives in the arena of strife, wielding his power to create tumult and discord. However, this formidable power isn't solely destructive. The Marquis Larrier also has the extraordinary ability to end wars and bring about peace, demonstrating his profound understanding of the cyclical nature of conflict and resolution. Moreover, Larrier has the capacity to heal the wounds inflicted by his arrows. This ability symbolizes the delicate balance between destruction and restoration, underlining the core essence of this intriguing demonic figure. He epitomizes the duality of violence and healing, exhibiting an uncanny understanding of the natural order of the world. Larrier's status as a Marquis within the hierarchies of Hell is of considerable significance. His title signifies authority, influence, and power, with the Marquis traditionally ruling over a considerable region within the demonic realm. Larrier is the 14th spirit of the Goetia, the first part of the Lesser Key of Solomon, an infamous grimoire known for its detailed descriptions of 72 demons. His position in this hierarchy is indicative of the respect and deference he commands within the demonic realm. Larrier possesses a host of beneficial abilities that are accessible to those who can successfully summon and interact with him. His positive powers are derived from his primary attributes as a warrior, an archer, a provocateur, and a healer. How to Summon Larrier Summoning Larrier requires careful preparation and a sincere respect for the process. The ritual should ideally be carried out in a quiet, secluded area where the summoner won't be disturbed. Begin by inscribing the sigil of Larrier on a surface. This could be a piece of parchment or a specific metal associated with Larrier, such as tin. The sigil acts as a connection point between the summoner and the demon. It's also important to be aware of the day, element, planet, and metal associated with Larrier. These associations can strengthen the connection between the summoner and the demon, increasing the likelihood of a successful summoning. Lighting a candle, preferably green to symbolize Larrier's traditional attire, can also aid in the process. After preparing the ritual space and setting the mood, it's time to recite the summoning mantra. This invocation should be spoken clearly and with intention, inviting Larrier to make his presence known. Once the mantra is recited, the summoner enters a meditative state, ready to receive Larrier's messages. Mighty Marquis Larrier, I invite your presence. Clad in green, master archer and warrior, I call upon your wisdom. Help me navigate my battles, grant me courage, focus, and resolution. Guide me in my journey, assist me in resolving conflicts, and offer healing where it's needed. By your sigil and through the elements, planets, and metals aligned with you, I call thee forth. Larrier, I invoke thee. Dima Raka Noshi Mera Makate Larrier Duri Nekatate Du. Demon Larrier in Ars Goetia. Who is Demon Larrier? In the mystical framework of the Ars Goetia, part of the influential Lesser Key of Solomon, Demon Larrier, or Lure-A, Lure-A, emerges as a compelling figure. This seminal grimoire, rich in its depiction of demonic hierarchies, introduces Larrier as a formidable Marquis of Hell, endowed with unique abilities and attributes. The dualistic role of Larrier in Ars Goetia. The conduit of conflict and healing, Larrier's paradoxical nature demon Larrier is particularly associated with the instigation of conflicts and the ability to heal wounds caused by arrows. This dual role presents an intriguing paradox, positioning Larrier as both a harbinger of discord and a figure of healing. 
it underscores a deeper theme in demonology, where destruction and restoration coexist, reflecting the complex nature of life and struggle.